The love between a Maltese dog and their owner is extraordinary. There's nothing else like it. Having the opportunity to experience this unconditional love is one of the many reasons why getting a Maltese for the first time is so exciting. So if you're a first-time dog owner or just want to brush up on your knowledge, you've come to the right place. Here are eight common first-time Maltese owner mistakes and tips for avoiding them. Number one, feeding new Maltese people food instead of dog food. This one is probably the mistakes Maltese owners make the most. Dogs need proper nutrition to live up to their full potential, and people food tends to be higher in fat and carbohydrates than canines can tolerate and stay healthy. Be sure to choose high-quality foods designed for your dog's particular needs. For example, if you're trying to help your pooch slim down, select weight control Maltese foods, and if specific medical problems are an issue, pick options that help compensate or treat that condition. Number two, not creating a plan for house training. If you get an older Maltese dog, you may not have to worry as much about house training, but new puppy owners and those who adopt younger Maltese will need a plan for potty training. If you neglect this crucial training early in your Maltese life, the more likely your pup is to have accidents in the house and the more difficult it will be for you to leave, even for short periods of time. It can be helpful to create a potty training plan even before you bring your new Maltese home and get all family members on board. When you do bring your new puppy or dog home, you'll want to make sure they have an established place to go to the bathroom. You take them out for regular potty breaks and use positive reinforcement for good behavior. If you decide to crate train your puppy, the crate can be a useful tool for house training. Number three, for getting regular vet visits. You've remembered the key visits to the veterinarian as a new pet owner. Your Maltese has all their core vaccinations and they've been in for spaying or neutering. So once that annual checkup reminder arrives, it may be all too easy to forget the appointment. Although your dog might prefer to skip the appointment too, taking your pup for regular vet appointments is one of the most important parts of their preventative care. When you take your dog for an annual checkup, your vet performs a physical exam, checking their weight, teeth, and running any tests they think. If something is cause for concern, your vet can address it. Number four, not getting enough exercise. Maltese have different energy levels and activity needs, but each pup will need some form of regular exercise. If your Maltese doesn't get regular exercise, both physically and mentally, the more likely they are to develop both weight and behavioral issues. As you might expect, a Maltese that isn't getting enough exercise is more likely to gain weight, but they also may take out their extra energy in other ways, such as chewing, barking, or other destructive behaviors. In general, your Maltese should get a minimum of 30 minutes of vigorous exercise every day, which might include activities like walking, running, swimming, or playing fetch. Number five, not getting your Maltese comfortable with grooming. They may seem like easy enough tasks, giving a dog a bath, brushing their coat, trimming their nails, brushing their teeth. These are all things that help our pups look and feel their best. Grooming is also an essential part of pet care. If your dog's nails grow too long and aren't trimmed, they can cause health and mobility issues. Similarly, if your Maltese teeth aren't regularly brushed, they're more likely to develop dental disease. And of course, depending on the type of coat your dog has, regular brushing helps remove dead hair and prevents matting. Number six, overfeeding. If this is your first dog, you might think that a few table scraps or extra treats won't be an issue for your pup. The truth is, pet obesity is a widespread problem. According to the Association for Pet Obesity Prevention, 56% of dogs in the U.S. are overweight or obese. And even just a little extra weight can cause a variety of health problems for dogs. According to the American Veterinary Medical Association, Excess weight can lower a dog's life expectancy and make it more difficult to manage common health issues, such as joint pain, injuries, and arthritis as they age. Number seven, not preparing for emergencies. No pet owner likes to think about the unexpected, but sometimes emergencies happen. The best thing anyone can do, especially if you're a first-time dog owner, is to be prepared. One way to prepare for emergencies is to get your Maltese microchipped. With a microchip, you have a way to find your dog using radio waves in the device if your pup ever gets lost. 
Even if you don't plan on letting your dog go off leash or you have a fenced in yard, this simple and safe procedure can help you find your dog if they get lost. Another thing you can do is to prepare an emergency kit. In your emergency kit, you should include anything that you would need for your dog in case you needed to evacuate or leave your home immediately. The kit might include dog food, a dog bed, a water bowl, some toys, a blanket or towel, an extra leash, dog bags, any medications, and information about local emergency response centers. Number 8. Forgetting about the temperature Maltese dog feel temperature just like humans, so make sure you stay aware of your pup's environment. If your dog is outside in the heat, make sure she has adequate shade and full-time access to cold, fresh water. Likewise, if you're going to be out with your dog in frigid weather, make sure she has adequate protection against the cold. Exposing your dog to extreme temperatures without proper precautions can lead to significant health issues and even death.